I'd like to talk a little bit about buccal fat reduction because it is a procedure that has increased in interest. A lot of people seem to be tempted towards buccal fat reduction as an answer to problems of shaping the face. I tend to see things in a more global perspective with regards to facial sculpting and what do we want to achieve? Most of the time it's about the contrast between the cheekbone, the mid-cheek area and the jawline. And they all have to fall in place to some extent to create this impression of strength or elegance of the facial features. In terms of where the buccal fat matters, it's in the mid-cheek portion and sometimes in the contrast between the underside of the cheekbone, the submalar region, and the mid portion of the cheek. But there is also a superficial layer of fatty tissue under the skin, which can be a significant contribution to a softer, a more baby face appearance. And some people tell me that the whole family looks like this, but I don't want to look like this. And of course, these genetic factors are an important consideration because they will guide us towards choosing the most appropriate intervention. What I like to do is to start with this 3D imaging and to have an understanding of what each individual wants to see as an end result. Sometimes the buccal fat reduction is the best procedure, sometimes it's not really because wider ranging changes are required and they may affect the volume of the face, they may affect the strength of the jawline, they may affect the strength of the cheekbone area. And they can be integrated, they can be understood better when looking at an image rather than picturing it all in our minds. Out of this, the most common procedure for sculpting the mid-face and cheek area, as well as the jawline, is either a combination of liposuction and buccal fat reduction, or one of these two. The liposuction procedure tends to reach a wider area, whereas the buccal fat reduction is concentrated in the submalar region, so effectively at the point where we get this sort of impression. But it's never nice to be as intense as that with the changes. Mm -hmm.